Hello and welcome to this Python beginner tutorial to practice Python lists, while loops, variables. And we want to make a very simple game to practice these. So this is how the game works. We press enter here and then we got two dice here. Two and three. So the player one has thrown a two and player two has thrown a three. So who is one? Player two is one. Press enter to start again, again, and this can go on and on. So this is the game we're going to make. It's very cool, very simple and beginner friendly. Now let's start. Okay, so um, the way we should start the game is first of all, we need to generate some random numbers for our dice. That's, that is why we need to import the Python random library. So we import random on top of our replit and then the next thing we do is to have a list I just called it roles and on this list I have six items so the first item the second item and on and on and why are they formatted like this so I've used uh, three single quotes because I wanted to preserve the formatting that is why I've used three single quotes instead of one. So that whenever it's shown here, the formatting is preserved, it doesn't change. And then we have six items. So now remember that in Python, uh, the indexing, it starts from zero. So roles index zero is the first one, role index one is the second one and on and on so for example if i say print um print roles let's say index three which one do you think will be, be displayed let's see yes number four why index three so this is zero this is one this is two and this is three so number four so this is how lists uh, work in Python. Now to start the game we need to have um, an input and what I mean by that is that we need the user to do something to either input some text or just press enter or some action. So let's say that the user just presses we need them to press the enter so we say press enter to start that's it and I can run the, the program either here or by control enter now press enter to start so what should happen when the user presses the enter now what I want to do is to have two dice that is die one and I want die one to have a random number right so I would say random dot rand int for integer and I want them to be a number from 0 to 5 not 1 to 6 why because when I say 0 I mean rolls 0 it shows me the first one number rolls 1 sh should show me the second one so I want to show these I don't want to show numbers here I want to show these items that's why I need something between 0 and 5 and I can also have another die let's call it number 2 and it should also return the same uh, a random number something between 0 and 5 now what I want to do with it so what I want to do with it is is I want to print something out let's say I want to print something out with an F string and why f a string? Because I want to have a mixture of variables and strings here. So the way I do it, I say player one, and so die one is for player one. And because die one is a variable, I should use curly braces here, and then I can simply say die one. Now I want then I want it to go to next line here. If we're going to next line. I mean like backslash n it means next line or a new line I want to say versus and then again another line and then on that new line I want to say player um, 
player two, and this is going to be die two. This is going to be player two's number. So something between zero and five. Now let's uh, play this. So if I enter, player one has got a four and player two has got a five. Okay, but I but these I don't want to show these numbers. I want to say okay. Now I have a four, so I want to say player one has rolls with an index of four, which is one, two, three, four. That is this one to show here, and the same for player two. So this is how I do it. So remember, die. This is a number, and this was four here. So I would say rolls, which is our list and then the random number so rolls for example four rolls four was this one right and then the same for this one rolls and die two which was five at this point and I want this one to show up now let's try this one again so control enter press enter to start awesome now we have player one with three, and player versus player two, again three. Hmm, is that a coincidence? Let's see. Yeah, okay. So two and five. Now let's see who has won the game. So obviously in this case, player two has won the game because the number is greater. Now, how do we know that? And how can we show it? So we need to use if statement, that is if, die one is greater than die two then player one is the winner so we say if die one is greater than die two okay then what shall i do print um, player one is the winner and what else now if die two is greater than die one, what shall I do? So I want you to print that player two is the winner. There's only one other condition left. And oops, sorry, I should have said elif. That is else if die two is greater than die one. Yeah. And the other condition, the last one is else. So if none of these two conditions are met, there's only one more condition. And that is what? It is a draw, right? So if it's uh, neither of these cases, it means it's a draw. Now let's try out this one. Okay, let's go from the beginning, press enter. Player one has got a four and player two has got a two. So who has won the game? Player one is the winner, of course. Cool, awesome. Now, it's almost finished, but there is one point. You notice that whenever I wanna play the game, I have to run it again and then press enter again and then run it again. So I don't want to run the whole program over and over again. I just want this to continue as long as I want, as long as I press enter, another game comes on, another one, another one. And how can I keep doing that? So I can do that using a while loop, while true. So what I'm saying is while true, well, while true is true, which is always true. So that, well, this basically means like always, like go on and on forever. And I want you to do this, wait for an enter and then run this. But remember, because all of it is going under while loop so it should be indented with a tab now it works well okay now let's do it again so press player one got a two player two has got a six who has won of course player two is a winner now let's see press enter to start again and again and again and again cool that was basically it right very simple very nice beginner friendly. See you later.